Good morning and happy Friday traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and this is the morning market preparation video for July 5th, 2019. So hey everyone, I hope you all had a fantastic 4th of July holiday. We're able to get out and grill some hot dogs or hamburgers and uh, watch some fireworks, whatever it is that uh, you do as your 4th of July traditions. Thank you to all of those um, folks out there who served in the military protecting us during this time. Truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you um, who have served and are currently serving in our military um, just to guarantee the freedoms that we have here today in the United States. Thank you to all of you. Let's talk about what's going on here in the market. So Wednesday, and I got to be honest, this was really kind of surprising to me. Wednesday, the Bulls decided to really make a show of force here um, heading into the holiday and pushing the diamonds to new, a new record high close. So diamonds reaches out for an all new record high this morning, or excuse me, Wednesday, and so now that we've reached up here and, and broke that new high, it's going to be uh, the pressure now is going to be on the bulls to show that they can hold these new levels as uh, the next level of support. Can we push on through? Can we hold up here? That's the next question for the bulls. Do they have the resi resiliency or do they have the strength to maintain these new prices? So let's take a look at what we have in the chart. Now, obviously blue sky above, so no resistance above in the diamonds. If we do pull back, we have some price support in this area. There's a little tiny bit of price support right through here. And there's a bigger level of price support right through here. So we'll wanna keep an eye on those uh, levels in the chart. Obviously there's some price support here. And then right on down, to this downtrend and the 50-day moving average. So we have multiple levels here of price support in the diamonds chart that could hold us up if we do get a pullback. Uh, this morning, remember, um, today is really going to be, uh, well, at least the morning open, is gonna be all about that jobs data. The employment situation number comes out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. That's gonna be really critical to the market. Now, according to CNBC, and I, you know, they they use the excuse that the market rallied on hopes of interest rates being cut. Well, maybe that's true. I don't know if that's true or not. But what I would say is today will be important in finding out whether or not that interest rate cut um, has some validity. So, for example, if that jobs number were to come in weak, that would certainly provide the FOMC cover, uh, make it much easier for them to lower the rate in July. If that number comes in strong, and currently the consensus is suggesting it will be double, the, uh, double what it was last month, that we created twice as many numbers, or twice as many jobs, last month, in that situation, that might make it a little bit more difficult for the Fed to move forward in cutting rates. And in that situation, you know, when you think about it, what's the justification for cutting rates if jobs continue to go up if the market is at all-time highs? It's going to be a little bit rough for the Fed, FOMC to make that decision. Not that they won't, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging for them to do that. So job numbers, if they come in strong, that could create a little bit of a problem. And it could also create a little bit of concern in the market after we've pushed up here to new record highs with the possibility that the FOMC might not cut rates. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Um, just expect some kind of price reaction today around that number. Right now, what you've got to look here in the chart and say the bulls are strong. They are absolutely in control of this market at the moment. There is, and surprisingly, there's just no worries considering the fact that we still don't have no trade deal with China and no clear path to actually getting that done. We still have tensions growing over in Iran 
and things going on over there. And um, we're ignoring all of these things right now in the market. But that's okay as long as those bulls continue to hold this market up. So let's let's keep an eye on that and watch this closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY blasting out to those new highs and really strong on Friday, showing lots and lots of strength. So if we get a pullback in the market, holding above here will be really important, I think, for the SPY. Any hold above there is going to show tremendous strength. A pullback down into here, um, still um, perfectly acceptable, um, in my opinion, um, on that chart. What we don't want it to see it do is break down below um, this low here in the chart. So any rest, consolidation, or pullback in here would set up the case for more bullishness in the chart. And you can see we still have a beautiful trend here in the SPY showing lots and lots of strength. And once again, we're just kind of... We seemingly are ignoring the potential issues out there and we're just driving up. And that always makes me a little bit nervous, but I want to continue to trade with the direction of the market. And that is certainly bullish at the moment. Let's take a look at the cues. Those cues rallying on through, finally ticking up. And I mean just barely ticking up. The high here, 191. 0.44 and our high over here was like 19132 that was our last high print so we did make that new record high um, in the Nasdaq just kind of just kind of peeking out here on the queues um, in a little tiny bit uh, trends are strong trends are good what we don't want to see is we don't want to see the queues drifting all the way back below these levels we want these levels to hold. So any pullback in here, rest or consolidation is perfectly acceptable as long as those bulls continue to maintain these price support levels. Um, we'll start to get concerned if we start slipping down below those. Once again, trend is strong and uh, there is really no reason to be considering bearishment in this at this point. However, in the queues, there is that little question on here. Could this end up being um, a double top high and that is possible if we were to get that failure in here it's possible we could end up with that double top so let's watch that close let's take a look at IWM IWM still struggling here below its downtrend line but it did show bullishness on Friday picking up here and what's critical I think on this one is that it held above its 50-day moving average right here Holding above that, showing that little bit of a bounce and showing that little bit of strength here. And IWM is one of the indexes actually trying to follow through this morning and stay a little bit bullish while the, the Diamonds and Spy are showing maybe just a little bit of weakness um, ahead of the jobs uh, numbers this morning. So let's watch that close. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX, honestly, is really giving me quite a little bit of concern. And I um, and I think that VIX concern happens to be over the complacency that I'm beginning to feel in the market, that we've just become very, very complacent, pushing this market so high, so fast, um, and, and particularly when nothing has changed on, on, on the uh, trade negotiations um, out there. Obviously, no, no new tariffs, but... No clear path to a trade deal, and that could linger on and on and on for the for months ahead. Also, we've had just a slew of warnings from companies suggesting that they will miss the consensus estimates, the analyst estimates for this quarter in earnings, and we're ignoring that completely right now. So um, that complacency has me a little bit concerned here as we pull back. But right now, there is definitely nothing in here showing fear in the VIX. So as we continue to hold this trend, as long as, as, long as that uptrend stays in force um, and this fear continues to diminish away, we have to stay bullish in the market. And, and don't try to assume that just because we are complacent that, that we um, um, can't stay complacent. We've done this before where we've been very complacent for long periods of time 
in the market. So watch that close. Um, I don't want to raise any concerns that complacency just means immediate pullback in the market. That's not the case. But we should be watchful of that if that complacency is building in here to the market. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T21, 22, the four week new high, new low ratio. You can see in that ratio, we are pushed up here in that bearish reversal zone. Doesn't mean we necessarily have to just collapse right from there. This isn't not necessarily a directional indicator um, in any way, shape, or form. It just shows us when we've reached maybe um, that overbought condition that we have to start watching. you know, for that possibility of a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation, possibly a uh, pullback in the market. But keep in mind, we've had periods in the market where we just hang out up here. So we can rest, consolidate up in this these high levels and um, and hold these numbers pretty, pretty darn high. But just keep in mind that the predominant um, uh, direction when we reach up in here in these areas is we reach up in here and then we get these pullbacks in the market so you can see over and over and over the 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 truth in that we get these pullbacks when we reach these areas and we're up here in that area so we need to recognize that and realize that a pullback could be just around the corner so kind of keep that in mind and plan your trading accordingly particularly as we head into the weekend let's take a look at our economic calendar today. There's the Mac Daddy here this morning, uh, that employment situation number coming out at 8.30 a.m. We'll have to take a look at it. Currently, consensus estimate is that it's going to come in about double the strength that it was last month. So pretty interesting on that number. It'll be interesting to see how that um, is accepted by the FOMC. Then at 4.30 today, we have the Fed balance sheet. I wouldn't expect that to move the market around at all. And money supply at 4.30 this afternoon. Kind of keep in mind that a lot of traders, a lot of traders will be traveling, will still be out, won't be planning to trade today. So consider the fact that we could have a lot of activity around that employment situation number. And then the market just kind of die on the vine. Just very low volume, kind of insipid price action could occur um, after that morning rush. So kind of keep that in mind. We could see a really, really uh, subdued um, uh, trade here today with so many traders probably, you know, just extending their vacation um, for the weekend. So consider that and consider that as you plan your risk ahead for the weekend. Obviously weekends uh, carry a little bit of additional risk and reasons why we need to be a little bit careful um, as we move forward. So with that, everyone, let's take a look. Well, first, let me um, ask you for a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that um, subscribe button there on YouTube. Click that um, bell icon as well when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also do me a favor, click that um, thumbs up button and leave a comment if you feel the video is worthy. Thank you so much to those who do that and, and, and are so con consistent in supporting the channel. You guys are great. Thank you so much. You humble me every day with your kind comments. And um, just, just know that um, even though I work pretty hard to put out the best content I can put out, um, the growth of the channel really comes down to you guys. It's, it's you clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments that helps um, the algorithm show these videos to more folks and helps the growth. So, so thank you to each and every one of you who do that. Um, means the world to me. You are the best. Also remember, feel free to share this video on um, uh, with any friends and family. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Um, that's perfectly acceptable as well. It's free to everyone. So let's take a look at some charts that are setting up looking pretty good. Places you might want to look for some uh, for some trades. Let's take a look at um, charts that are showing up in the uh, consumer defect defensive sector. Um, if the market does begin to get worried about these elevations, we might see a little bit more strength in this consumer defensive sector. Take a look at MDLZ. MDLZ has been 
in this beautiful trend and it's just continuing to move up in this trending pattern um, moving on higher and Friday or excuse me Wednesday uh, made that new breakout to new highs so MDLZ might be one to keep an eye on take a look at stocks like coca-cola coca-cola breaking out to new highs um, showing strength and a beautiful trend here so some of those defensive sector stocks looking pretty good um, STZ STZ constellation brands you can see STZ um, having broken its downtrend here is now trying to consolidate that downtrend so as we move over toward this trend I'd want to watch this for that opportunity that this could start to break higher and you can see that's not an odd pattern we we have these protracted pullbacks and then we break above hold above the that downtrend and then off we go to the upside so keep an eye on that pattern there may be something here um, in the near future um, let's just keep an eye on it and by the way let me mention that each and every one of these trades that are charts that I show here are not a recommendation to buy or sell anything um, it is just um, a chart to be paying attention to maybe be maybe put it on your watch list and keep an eye on it for that potential um, uh, in the future if, if a trade does happen to come up take a look at TTWO here's one of those patterns that I, I've talked about for quite a while um, in the chart and you can see that big breakout and notice this pattern here that repeats itself over and over and over we break out to a new level we might pull back or consolidate over to the trend and um, this alerted for us in RWO uh, I let everybody know about it right here where we popped popped up through that level and you can see just moving on higher here um, in that chart so looking really really good and moving on up um, MCD is another one of those and I've been talking about that for a while McDonald's um, there's that pattern again that move up that consolidation over to the trend we pop out and then up we go um, and that's a really good pattern to be paying attention to watching and studying because it just produces really good results over and over and over you might want to keep an eye on charts like that take a look at AIG AIG made its move um, kind of surprising that it made this move on Friday now we have a significant price resistance right here in this area but AIG is showing some strength here trying to move on up through this area now it's gone a little bit ahead of its trend that always is a concern for me that will pop up and then pull right back down into this trend but just keep an eye on this if this can hold up here then um, the trajectory of that trend may have changed so we'll want to keep an eye on it but AIG trying to perk up another one um, that I've been talking about for a while to keep an eye on is target target made that move on Wednesday breaking higher and trying to break above this little downtrend area in the chart keep an eye on this if this can hold up in this area there may be some more upside here in target maybe something to keep an eye on something you might want to watch overall um, other places like Procter & Gamble look at this move on Procter & Gamble what a beautiful breakout here on P&G and really holding up strong any rest consolidation or pullback in here could provide a great opportunity for an entry so keep an eye on Procter & Gamble so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and remember this morning it's it's going to be all about that jobs data first thing this morning we could see a lot of volatility a lot of back and forth uh, this morning that um, what I call the morning rush everybody rushing around trying to figure out where they're going to have their positions and and uh, some folks are chasing in and some folks are taking profits so um, there'll be a little bit of a morning rush this morning but then be careful because this afternoon it could become very stale uh, price action um, just simply because so many folks will be extending their holiday so consider that as you plan your risk forward into the weekend 
Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And last but not least, if you're struggling as a trader, I want to please um, tell everyone that you know, trading is one of those very, very difficult businesses to master. It takes quite a bit of work. It takes an awful lot of effort. And if you're struggling as a trader, I want to encourage you to not give up, to really keep working at it. Um, there's tons and tons of videos on my YouTube channel to help you with that. And, um, I, I, you know, go view those videos. It's free to you. There's no cost in that. Go look at that stuff. Um, see if that can help you with your trading. But moreover, I would suggest never giving up. If, if I can figure this out as a, just an old carpenter, anyone can. So everyone hang in there. I know it's been a little bit challenging in the market with the kind of, um, uh, really whippy, gappy type market that we've been in. But if we are going to break out and hold that as support, the market could smooth out here a little bit. If we can hold up, here. we'll have to wait and see. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning.